Tomorrow, students in Clayton County will be staying home to learn. The district says it decided to hold a remote learning day Friday as a precaution to keep students safe from Ian. But with the impact now expected to be minimal, there's mixed reaction to the move tonight. Our Palosuro spoke with people on both sides and found out the district uh, found out how rather the district made this decision. Jasmine Blair's daughter and Renee Whaley's two sons will be home to learn on Friday. Me and the boys. They received this notice from Clayton County Schools on Tuesday announcing students would be learning remotely Friday because of the risk of inclement weather from Ian. For this Clayton County mom, it felt like an unnecessary move. Me personally, I thought it was an exaggeration. Jasmine says she had to take a sick day from her Emory Hospital job because she wasn't able to find child care on time nor at a reasonable cost. The money it costs for child care is the same money you pretty much make in a day. Childcare is ridiculously expensive coming from a single parent household. Then I end up using those days that are dedicated for if my child gets sick. My child has asthma. If I'm using my days off because it's sunny outside and windy, that's not good enough for me. Fellow Clayton County mom Renee says she understands that sentiment, but says it's better to be safe than sorry. I think it was necessary for the potential um, of the storm coming through and also for the safety of the kids. Um, I did think that it was necessary to make sure that me and my family um, is safe. The district tells 11 Alive it makes decisions like this one based on information from the National Weather Service and that it chose to announce it early in the week to give parents as much notice as possible. Someone said, why Friday? The winds are anticipated to be very high, over 30 miles per hour, and it's very dangerous for us to have school buses on the roads when the winds are very high. Clayton County appears to be the only district to go virtual. Fulton County Schools will have regular school days and Gwinnett and DeKalb County Schools will continue classes as usual.